Hello, welcome. Try this problem on your own, then press play and we'll solve it together. Essentially, um, in this problem, they want to know what equation models the growth of this shape right here. So the first thing is to count, so don't be afraid to count. In term one, we have two blocks, then we have six blocks, and 10 blocks, and 14 blocks. I notice every time we're adding four. So my first thought is, okay, the slope's got to be something with four. And I also notice that uh, this is term one, so I also want to think, what is term zero? Well, if we went back four, that would kind of, it's kind of weird, but we kind of like having negative two blocks, right? Because we are losing four. I don't know how to pick, I don't know how to draw that, right? I don't know what a picture for that would look like. But essentially, we have negative two blocks. And that brings me to choice three, first of all. Here our slope is four, and we're starting with negative two blocks. That's our intercept. They write a sub n equals four times n minus two. And if you try it out for any of these, like if you try it for term four, if you plug in four for the n, you have a four equals four times four, 16 minus two which is 14. It gives us the correct number of blocks. So in any situation, if you plug in the number, the term number you're on, you get the correct number of blocks. Um, the other one that works here is choice two. Choice two says, in a different way, more it's recursive now, that the first um, term has two blocks, which it does. Term one has two blocks. Then to find the next term, or any term, you take the one before it, that's what a, n minus one equals, the one before a, n, it's, it's just one before it, and then add four. So, that's, and that's true, every time, if I want to know what term two is, I take the one before it, which has two blocks, and add four to it to get six. What this looks like as an equation would be like this. A1 is two. So if the second term in the sequence, I take the term before it, a n minus one, so a1, and I add four. So a1 is two, and it's two plus four, or six. Then a3, would be equal to a2 plus 4, which equals, well, we just figured it out, a2 is 6, so 6 plus 4 is 10. And then a4 is equal to a3, the one before it, so n to the n is the n minus 1 block, plus 4 equals 10. We just figured out a3 is 10, so now it's 10 plus 4, or 14. And it works. So choices 2 and 3 both work. Uh, choice 1 does not work. Uh, because, for example, if you try a2, and you're saying it equals 2 plus 4, is that true? Yes, it gives us 6 blocks for the second term, but a3, is that equal to 3 plus 4? No, it gives us 7, but the third terms really have 10 blocks, so this equation does not work. Alright, hope that helped.